Uh, hi guys, um, this is Mike Seeley, the instructor for Intro to Programming. Um, so I'm going to start off and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, uh, download NetBeans. NetBeans is a compiler that you can use. Um, I, I think it's easier than using a notepad. I know um, uh, in your Java ebooks uh, they they teach you how to use the um, um, notepad and then you use that JVAC tool um, in your command prompt. Um, I'll probably actually grade your projects like that because then I can easily just run them through. Um, but uh, um, you guys might want to uh, download NetBeans. So in order to do that you go to Google and you type in NetBeans space JDK and you search um, it should have been your first one but maybe they just added that it's this one right here it's Java SE downloads because it's got the NetBeans plus the JDK bundle so you can click on that uh, make sure you accept your license agreement um, most likely you guys are going to want to execute. I'm guessing you're on Windows 64. Uh, but some of you might be on a Mac, uh, maybe some Linux users out there. Anyway, you go ahead and click it. And what it will do is you'll just keep clicking next and it will download to where it needs to go. Okay. So once it's downloaded, um, it's going to download NetBeans to your desktop, which is right here. Close that. NetBeans is right here, so you can open up NetBeans. And I've been playing with this uh, recording software right here. Um, and I made a video yesterday, but uh, the video today I'm going to have uh, the closed caption on here. So um, it, and it's a Google closed caption, so it does a pretty good job. Um, detecting what I'm saying and displaying it on the screen but if something looks funky it's because it's the Google closed caption and I actually created this um, hello world um, I created it yesterday but I'm gonna go through it again with the new video so let me uh, delete this very quickly also delete it yes okay so when you guys first open up NetBeans you guys are going to get um, this, this start screen. You're not going to see projects because you haven't created a project in here yet. Um, so what you do, go File, New Project, okay, Java and Java Application. So you'll say Next. And you want to make sure, let me see if I can make this screen a little bit larger for you guys. Um, you're going to want to change your browser to um, wherever you're going to save your programs, okay? So I have mine saved in an H drive, and I create a folder called CSC119 Fall 2007, okay? So you guys are going to want to create a folder, and then you guys will um, browse to this project location right here, okay? And uh, bear with me. I guess it's time for band practice if you can hear that. So uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so your project name will be called main hello world. Okay. Um, and you'll just say finish. Okay. <laughs> and what this is going to do is it's going to create the main hello world class. Okay. Um, over here. You should see your um, Java cup. Okay, there's your Java cup, and you can open it up, and you can open up the source package, and then right here I call this my yellow Rubik's cube. It just says main hello world on it, and in here your files will be stored. Okay, so first file is. Um, just says public class main hello world and the first program we always create is hello world so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna say system 
dot out dot print ln and inside of it I'm gonna say hello world okay notice hello world is in quotes this is because hello world is a string okay we'll get into strings uh, next uh, chapter and up here there is a green compile button a run project okay and this is going to compile your code when you run it you get the output box that pops up and hello world displays okay build success things are good and you're happy and your program works okay a uh, few things on here these are multi-line comments Multi-line comments or comments in general are used to docu document your code, okay? Um, if you were to, let's say all of us in this class worked at Microsoft and we were building a large project and I started it and I got halfway through and I quit and I went to Google or whatever. And somebody else, one of you guys would have to pick up the project and finish it. Um, you're not going to want to dig through my code for a week figuring out what each line of code does so your comments are um, just telling um, you know giving writing down notes on what each section of code does okay so this is a way to multi-line comment you start with this uh, forward slash then star and you end with a star and then a backslash okay this right here this line is an example of a single line comment you just got two forward slashes Okay. Uh, some other things on here. When you start a class, you open a brace and you close the brace. Okay. If you don't have that in here, you've got yourself an error message. Reached end of file while parsing. Uh, typically, the messages don't make sense. Okay. Some of them do. Some of them are easy. Okay. Um, but you need to make sure some things to look for. When you start a class, opening brace you end a class closing brace when you start a method you open a method with one of these and you close it okay and methods also um, you got an opening and closing parentheses on all methods all right uh, some other stuff public static void don't worry about that for now um, this right here system dot out dot println this is a statement all statements end in a semicolon if I don't have a semicolon I have an error and it's expecting a semicolon and that's an easy one to fix okay you guys will get that by your next program um, let's see here anything else I need to go over for you guys for this first week um, let's do this let's look at some other stuff here if I go system dot out dot print ln and I type this is my first program, okay? And I run this. Notice, uh, hello world is on one line, and then this is my first program is on another line, okay? Um, if I get rid of println and I go print, and I run this, it says, hello world, this is my first program, and it's all on one line. So what this tells you is this println method, what it does, is it prints hello world and then it puts your cursor on a new line right here and then it prints this is my first program okay so a beginning programmer you always have to learn how to print stuff to the screen because eventually we're going to be interacting back and forth with our programs where we input information and that will change a variable up and then it will display what we want it to okay the program will display what we want it to a um, couple things here uh, I'm not sure if the book goes into escape sequences but I always teach kids about this or students about this we've got sorry if I say kids I'm a high school teacher so I'm always around kids you know uh, uh, 9th through 12th grade so if I do a dash n here this will create a new line in here so watch what happens um, the dash n it will print hello and it will the escape sequence will be read will be read dash n so it goes to a new line and then world displays and remember it's inside of a print ln statement so at the end of the print ln 
um, we go to the new line down here. Uh, this is my first program. Okay. Uh, another one is a dash T. Dash T. Okay. And if I run that, notice hello world. This is, and then there's this big space in here. Okay. Big blank space. That that blank space is a tab. Okay. So a lot of your first programs may include something like creating a form with a header, okay? I did a lot of this in industry where um, I was working on reports and you had to um, put all your data inside columns and you wanted the columns to line up perfectly. So a, a tab button like this is nice. Uh, tab escape sequence to tab everything over. Um, so we've got braces, we've got single line comments, multi-line comments, um, print LN print, and the escape sequence. So I think that's a pretty good uh, start um, for any of you that need help. I think these videos are going to um, be nice. I remember when I was a programmer, uh, well, when I was in programming school back in college, all those years back, um, you know, the professor wrote the stuff on the board and then we had to take it home. So having some real examples and seeing them work, I think that's probably a better way to learn how to code. So um, I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care. Bye.